Morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> we're back. Yes. And we're going to teach you one of our favorite fun rhymes. It's kind of oh, a yeah. game. And it's called Charlie the Monkey Man. Ooh. And he was swinging from a tree. How fun. Would that be fun? It's kind of like Tarzan. Yeah. Oh, like Carol Burnett. Oh, yeah. You remember her? Carol? Yes, I love Carol Go look Burnett. up Carol Burnett. Ask your mom and dad about her. She was fabulous, or is fabulous still. Yes. Okay, so Charlie the Monkey Man was swinging from a tree, and he sees things mm -hmm. in the trees. Ooh. And in my world, he sees musical instruments. Of course. And we ask, what kind of instrument did he see? So before we teach you the rhyme, we want you to think about musical instruments. All kinds. There's strings. There's ones you blow in. There are ones that you pound on. There's ones she told me about I've never even heard of. Ooh, there's ones that you play that you don't even touch to make them work. How's that work? We'll talk about that in a second. Okay. Okay. So you keep a beat and I'll say the rhyme. Charlie the monkey man was swinging from a tree. What kind of instrument did he see? What do you see? Saxophone. Saxophone. Spell saxophone. S-A-X-O-P-H-O-N-E. Very good. Now, what family of instruments does the saxophone belong to? That's kind of tricky. I like that you started with that one. Thank you. It's made out of brass, but it's really it's not, not a in brass the brass instrument. family. Because you have to look at its mouthpiece. And the mouthpiece goes inside your mouth. And you blow. And it has a reed. Yes. And because it has a reed that vibrates, it's like a thin popsicle stick, mm -hmm. we call it a woodwind. It is a woodwind. It's a woodwind. My middle son played it for years and years. Nice. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So let's learn the rhyme. Ready, my turn. Charlie the monkey man was swinging from a tree. Charlie the monkey man was swinging from a tree. What kind of instrument did he see? What kind of instrument did he see? So now let's say the whole thing. I think you audiate it. and I'll say it. Gotcha. Actually, just say it with me. You, okay. Ready? Here we go. Charlie, the monkey man, was swinging from a tree. What kind of instrument did he see? I think he saw a piano. Spell <gasps> piano. P-I-A-N-O. Here we go. Charlie, the monkey man, was swinging from a tree. Uh-huh. What kind of instrument oh, I did he see? Oh, boy. I just messed that That's up. That's okay. There's two versions. Yes. And I switched back to the other version. That's okay. We'll Which tell we'll you about to. that one in a minute. Yeah. What kind of instrument did yes, he see? Well, I'm going to choose the instrument that my other son played, which was... A bassoon. <gasps> bassoon. I How love fun. the bassoon. B A S S O O N. Bassoon. Bassoon. Ooh. And it's a double reed instrument. Yes, it is, and it's large. Oh, it is. And it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. It's featured in a Mickey Mouse cartoon. I was going to say. It is really important. And if you've ever been to Magic Philharmonic, like his magic harmonic or whatever they mm -hmm. call that at Disney World and Disneyland. Mickey Mouse is the sorcerer's apprentice. Yes. He wears the hat. And mm -hmm. that whole old cartoon features ba -da the bassoon. Yeah. And it's also the featured rooms. in um, Peter and the Wolf. Is it? Yeah. I, I think it's the grandfather. We'll I'm have not to sure look about that up. That's okay. okay. But now you know our version of Charlie the Monkey Man. You know one that's with the colors. She knows the original, and I switched it up on my own. To make it musical. To make it musical. Right. But let's learn hers. The, the one I learned was Charlie the Monkey Man was swinging from a tree. Uh-huh. What color butterfly did he see? And 
you know, because you're in the fifth or the sixth grade, we don't do just regular colors like red, blue, green, no, yellow. No, you gotta think outside the eight Crayola box. You gotta so, go for 64. Yeah, and, and not only that, but we would make them pick a color and then an adjective. Mm-hmm. Adjective. What is an adjective? Ooh, that's the describing word. So, like, um, I'm Ooh. looking, uh, some of the kids in our room would look around and see some of our trophies and that, so they would say trophy gold. Ooh, then we would have to spell that. Yeah. T-R-O-P-H-Y-G-O-L-D. Do you see what a fabulous spelling bee participant you will become when you do this? Miss Klopeski always loved this game when she would come in and she'd see us playing this game. It's she wonderful. thought it was fabulous that we were teaching spelling, you know, well, in you our have music to learn room. how to spell. Yeah. I mean, my goodness, you need to, just because you walk through the music room doesn't mean you forget how to spell. Oh no. We touch on everything in here. Ooh. So in the comments below, you're going to tell us at least two things. You were going to tell us what kind of instrument that Charlie sees. You're also going to tell us what color butterfly he sees. So it could be that he sees a sunset orange. <gasps> Ooh, I love that. How about that? Purple mountains majesty. Ooh, mountains majesty. Yes. Okay. You don't have to say apostrophe. No. But you do have to spell that out. Wow. Mm -hmm. That takes a lot. And long. before you type it, you have to spell it correctly. That's right. How about that? Okay. All right. Have a great day, and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.